Hello friends, this is the Smart Accelerator and this video is about cutting the common elements. Now let me show you this database. So you can see that I have different sort of main categories and four. Now if you want to select the common items, what I can do is I can go here and I can just go to remove duplicates. So it will be wiped out and only the common values will be remaining. But that is not what I want. I want to have I use advanced filters for small items. I want to flash fill that and I want to use a data validation. So how is it possible is just select the data of what you want to cut the common items of or you want to select the common items. So when you select it, you can go to data and in data you have something called advanced. And in advanced we have seen we have to select the exact data and copy this into another location and i want to copy the unique records so i will be giving a location on this area so when i do ok now i have got the common data so there are duplications so i have removed it but now i want to make use this in the data validation so what i will be doing is when i will go to data validation and I'm going to list and I'm going to be selecting the data from here and I'm doing OK. So let me do it again. Go to data validation, list, and this is the source. And I'll be doing OK. So now I have the data list. But the issue over here is whenever I this sort of data is gone or if I have, I have to clear this off and now you can see I have nothing left my data validation is empty because we don't know where we can know only through this that uh, we can know we can come to sorry we can come to know only through this that where our data is hidden so unless and until we go down over here we can't find this to avoid that what we can be do, done is I'll be doing I will be doing this again so we have a database here and and this if this is removed so we need to copy this in the first place so if i clear this if i clear this and this is gone so it's cleared now so i want to have this data i don't want to have a backup for this one so i will have this directly so that can be done through data validation and list and i have to copy each data and from that i have to keep on putting a commas but if you have a long list you don't want to copy and paste copy and paste so what you will be doing is you need to have a comma everywhere so i'll be doing is control while you're copying this control c and i'll be putting a comma so now we will do it between the flash field. So you can see the commas have been added. I don't want to do it manually. So we have a flash field. So now when I copy this, control C, and I go to this area and data validation, and in I'm going to list and I want to paste this. You can see. I am unable to paste because it's not getting selected. So what I have to do is you have to copy this. Whatever data you have, go to Notepad and paste this. So now you have the database here. So from here you can go to data validation, go to list, and from list you can go to the Notepad. You can copy this. Control C, minimize this, and come here and paste this. And now you can see that commas are only. If you don't have the comma, you will not get the right answer. So if you do OK, and now you can see, and it is now even if I remove this, it doesn't really matter. So my data is still over here. So this is with advanced filters, flash fills, copy, 
thread copy them use you notepad a new copy and paste so this was just a simple video how to do things smart so it's a tips and tricks so i'm preparing for the next video for some if and some ifs count if and count ifs average if and average ifs so please be posted and please follow this channel please give me your valuable comments and please hit the like or dislike button and let's see you in the next video thank you very much